Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, I am going to cover JavaScript basics. So let's see what JavaScript basics are. There are three major basics. One is string, another is numbers and boolean. So string is immutable object of multiple characters. So here we can see this is a query, it is enclosed by double quotes. This is a jQuery, it is enclosed by single quotes. Both are strings. Then we can have numbers as well in the strings. Difference lies between the double quote and single quote is in case I want double quotes to be present in my string then how to achieve that particular target. Say I want my jQuery enclosed by double quotes. So I want to do this something like this. This is jQuery. Then double quote and my single quote. And this finishes the statement. In case I want single quote to be present in my string, then similarly, I have double quotes here, my string, then single quote, jQuery, and single quote ends, double quote ends. This is the way how we distinguish double quotes and single quotes. Then numbers, J JavaScript supports decimal numbers of high precision. Here we have used positive numbers with decimal digits. We have numbers, we have 0 0.23, we have negative numbers as well. So now come to boolean. Boolean is true and false. JavaScript has special rules for boolean like your 0 is false, non-negative numbers, non-positive, non-zero numbers are true. Then we have empty string is false, your non-empty string is true, your 0 is false. So these are like JavaScript basics. Let's see examples of these basics in our practical session. In this example, we are going to cover various uh, basics, JavaScript basics like string, your decimal numbers and uh, booleans. So text one, here we have defined as simple string enclosed by double quotes. Text two is enclosed by single quotes. In text three, we have used double quotes within single quotes so that we can have double quotes in our string. Text force explains use of single quote in the string. So this will print all these strings we will see in our output. Then next is numbers. Here you can see we are using decimal numbers, pure numbers, negative numbers as well. So we are printing all those numbers. Then boolean. Boolean have special treatments. Your true is true false is false, zero is false, non-zero is true, empty string is false and your non-empty string is true. So we have well1 true, well4 true, well5 true, well7 true. It is true so console.log will print well1 as true. Next is well2 is false, well3 is false, well6 is false. So negating it, it will give true. So well too, it will print as false. Let's see the output. Here we can see this is plain statement. Again, this is plain statement. This statement has double quotes with around jQuery. It has single quotes around jQuery. We have numbers printed. We have true and false printed. 